Greetings everyone. This brief tutorial is about uh, how to conduct uh, t-tests or mean different tests in R using R Commander and uh, the details about this uh, tutorial is are, are as follows. Basically we will be using R Commander which is an extension to R and uh, we will test some hypothesis about uh, um, a data that we have uh, obtained from Hammermish and uh, Parker. Uh, they did a study of teaching evaluations by students and they were interested in knowing if uh, teaching evaluations are influenced by students perception perceptions of how good um, uh, an instructor looks and um, the data set is called teaching ratings dot RDA notice that this RDA is in fact the extension um, uh, that R uses to so all the R data files have the extension of RDA the data are available at this URL which we I will not state because it's a very long URL but if you were to follow this URL you will be able to uh, get to a web page where this data set are, is listed and you can download it and uh, once you have downloaded the data set you save it at a place in your uh, hard drive where you can easily access that data and then you open the data file the way to do it in, in R Commander, which looks like this, is to click on Data and Load Data Set. And uh, when you click on Load Data Set, you can highlight the data set and open it. And here I've already opened it, so I'll just simply click Cancel and uh, go to the data set. Now, I'm interested in uh, testing a hypothesis. And the hypothesis that I'm interested in testing is as follows. Um, the question I want to ask is, um, based on the data set that I have, um, do male and instructors uh, receive a different teaching evaluation uh, from the ones uh, that female instructors are receiving. That is, uh, statistically, uh, is there a statistically significant difference between the teaching evaluations for males and females? The way to go about it is as follows. We first determine the um, average values for two groups. What is the average teaching evaluation for males and the ones for females? Once we have determined the average values, we would know which one is higher um, or lower, um, and are they very different um, or are they almost similar? Uh, then we will construct the null and alternative hypothesis. And once we have constructed the null and I alternative hypothesis, we conduct the t-test. And based on the p-value that is generated by the test, we either reject or or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, um, let's say the teaching evaluation differences based on male and female, uh, we construct the null hypothesis and here's our null hypothesis which is designated as or identified as HO where X stands for the average teaching evaluation. So the average teaching evaluation for male which I have X highlighted as X subscript male minus the teaching evaluation for female. So it's a mean difference test. Basically we are subtracting or finding the difference between the average teaching evaluations from, for males versus females. Um, and our null hypothesis is that that difference is equal to zero. That is, both males and females are receiving equal teaching evaluations, and hence the difference in the two means is going to be zero, if that were to be true. In that particular case, um, the null hypothesis says that there is no difference, and then the alternative hypothesis, which is written as HA, um, states that the both male and female teaching evaluations are in fact not equal to zero, and that becomes our uh, um, uh, alternative hypothesis. So we conduct the mean different test and we check the p-value. If our p-value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis or otherwise we fail to reject the null hypothesis and based on that p-value we make our conclusion. So how do we do this test in our commander? We go to our data set, we click on statistics and then click on means and then click on independent samples t-test. Again statistics, means means independent sample t-test. And then we select the grouping variable, which in this case is gender. And the moment I click gender, you see that the difference uh, equation becomes apparent. It's male minus female. That is the teaching evaluations for males subtracting, um, the teaching evaluations of females subtracted from that of males. And I click the variable, the response variable, eval or evaluations. And I'm conducting um, um, a two-sided test. And my alternative hypothesis in this case is that the teaching evaluations are not equal to zero. I'm not making any um, um, 
assumptions about uh, who um, gets a higher teaching evaluation. And in so doing, I'll also obtain the average values for both male and female. So I click OK, and the output is displayed here. The p-value is here, which is uh, of interest. And the mean value for males, the mean average teaching evaluation for males, is 4.06. And for females, it's 3.901. So obviously, by looking at these numbers, we can see that uh, the teaching evaluations for females is lower than that of males. And if the teaching evaluations for females is subtracting from that, subtracted from that of females, then that difference should be higher than zero because 4.06 minus 3.9 is a number greater than zero. And um, so the null hypothesis was that these two values are equal to zero. And the alternative hypothesis is that these values are not equal to zero. And it's high actually stated here that the true difference in mean is not equal to zero. And here's the output we receive here. Um, we're testing that the males and female difference is equal to zero against not equal to zero. The p-value is 0 0.0011. So here's our conclusion. Since the p-value of 0 0.001176, it's significantly lower than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. Because the p-value is smaller, we reject the null hypothesis. And then when you reject the null hypothesis, then this becomes our working hypothesis and conclude that in fact that the average evaluations of male and female instructors is statistically different, different because the difference in means is not equal to zero. It's statistically different from zero and hence male and female instructors do not receive the same teaching evaluation. Now, in the previous test, we still don't know if uh, males are statistically receiving higher teaching evaluations than female. Because we only tested the hypothesis that the average evaluations for male and female is different, we haven't tested if male's teaching evaluation is higher than that of female. So the steps we'll take is the same, except our null and alternative hypothesis would be different. And in this case, we, s we already know that the male's teaching evaluation was higher than that of females, actually. You saw it in the two, uh, two slides prior, 4.06 for males, 3.9 for females. So that helps us construct the hypothesis. Our null hypothesis, in this case, we construct, we say that we already know that the average teaching evaluations for male is higher than that of females. So let's have that as a null hypothesis and say that the null hypothesis is that male's teaching evaluation is higher than females. And then automatically, the alternative hypothesis becomes um, that uh, the average uh, teaching evaluations, the difference between males and females is less than zero, suggesting that females have a higher teaching evaluation. We conduct the, the, the t-test and check the p-value, and if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis, or otherwise we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So let's do this test again, and we move to our commander, and uh, statistics means independent sample t-test. The grouping variable is gender, and the response variable is evaluation. And in this case, I'll just switch back to uh, PowerPoint slide for one second. Uh, notice that our alternative hypothesis is the difference is less than zero. So we use that the difference is less than zero as our alternative hypothesis, which is stated here. And I click on difference is less than zero, conduct the t-test. And the, the test output is presented here. Here we go. And if you look at the test type uh, output, you would see uh, that the same average values for male and female are reported. The only difference is the p-value, which is 0 0.9994. So let's go back to, to um, the PowerPoint uh, slides. And you will see here now the, the p-value is 0 0.994, right? Same um, explanation applies. Since the p-value is not is greater than 0 0.05, it's not less than 0 0.05. So in this particular case, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So this null hypothesis that males' teaching evaluation is higher than that of females, we fail to reject it, and we conclude that male instructors, in fact, receive statistically uh, higher teaching evaluations those than those for female instructors, 